Hello and welcome! In this tutorial, we are going to use the gravity speaker and the light sensor to make a light theremin. Now, we have a voltage divider set up there. We're going to use the DF robot light sensor. We're going to plug it in like this. So we're going to need to do some reshuffling on the circuit. Uh, we're going to need to pull out all these wires. So we can house the gravity shield. And maybe, just maybe I can zoom this in for you. Merge. So you can see it better. So we plunk this guy straight on. I just love the way this guy works. And um, we can use a PWM pin perhaps instead of having that LED blink or maybe even together with that LED um, we can find a I think a six would be so it's zero one two three yeah, it already kind of works zero one two three four, five, six. So the green would be there. Just to make sure that I got, this would have to be turned around. And there goes the sensor. Um, I would need to also connect the 5V and the GND as well as that LED. So the 5V and the GND actually you can use this part of the shield. The GND is the first. So the GND can go back there. And the 5E can go. There. And last but not least we can get that zero one two three so we need to also have a reading of this light sensor and that's going to be interesting sorry the the LED, yeah, LED was at three. And the reading was at a zero right there. Ah, so taking the reading from my hand here, but that guy should go in together with these. So right now when I re-upload the very last, and I'm going to go back into the view merge, so you see this, um, this code right here? This was the self-calibrating light sensor. That LED should go off. And the more we do this, the brighter the LED is going to get. Now, the reason I'm ha still having this LED is it gives me some visual indication of what is going on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the um, loudspeaker to the program and see if I can create a light theremin. So I'm gonna call this int speaker and we're gonna have the speaker on at pin six. Um, we're gonna need to set it as is going to be an out put and while all this is happening we're gonna have to get rid of the serial printing it's just gonna be no room for that we're gonna have to get rid of these delays um, and we're gonna have to try to figure this out on our own so the reading is initially zero so I think that LED power should be the speaker power 
Um, so we can also analog right speaker comma LED power. And then we can make some delay. Maybe make a small delay. And then we analog right. Oops. Speaker to zero, and then we make that same delay. Speaker to zero. And then we make another delay of one. So this should have the speaker go on at a, cons at a sort of constant frequency, but the loudness is gonna get higher as we shade that sensor, hopefully. We no longer have any serial. But watch, watch. Pretty cool. And now let's see if we can change the frequency. See this delay? We can delay. Microseconds, and we can put in the value of the speaker there. Now, sorry, the value of the LED power. However, we may have to multiply that a little bit. Um, delay microseconds, I'm going to put in LED power and see how this works. I suspect it's going to be inaudible at first. So the the at low frequencies it's not that cool. So what if we might times that by 10? Times that by 10. What's the maximum LED power? About 500, so that'll make it about 5,000. Let's see how this works. So, I'm just curious if I used a light dependent resistor instead of that photodiode, would we get a different result? Get in there, son. That's going to restart the program, hopefully. There is nothing. Okay, need to re-upload. Pretty cool. And I'm just curious if instead of microseconds, we delayed LED power. I almost feel like plugging out the, the loudspeaker. So if you, if you just want to get some peace and quiet while working on something potentially annoying to your ears, you just upload a blank program. So what I want to do is int... I don't mind the speaker power being there. Um, I don't mind what it is. But I do think that we can do something with the frequency. And I'm going to go int frick equals to zero. And I'm thinking 
that we can calculate frequency to be some variant of the um, LED power. So frequency, let's say it's LED power I'm going to try dividing it by 10 and then I'm going to So right now the frequencies have gotten we, we don't have the extremely high frequencies anymore. Um there could be uh, an issue with converting this, you know, the delay ha may have to be an integer, but it may also automatically convert to an integer. That's not too bad. And file new blank me. Okay. And just one last thing. Um, if you wanted to shift the power to something consistent, let's say 800. Um, would we get a sort of cleaner sound at least? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, that's all the experimentation I'm going to do. I suggest you make this your own, you build it, and that you have fun with it. Try both the LDR and the photodiode. They give slightly different effects. The photodiode is a lot more precise, it's a lot more range, but somehow in this experiment, the LDR, I think, gave us a slightly smoother sound. So, there you have it. See you in the next tutorial.